How's it going you guys? Michael Shamblum here. Uh, today I wanted to make a super quick video talking about high key images versus low key images uh, in landscape photography. And basically what, what are the differences? Um, when would you choose to use post-production to create a low key image or a high key image? Um, I have a few examples here. First, right off the bat, a high key image basically just means when the overall luminance value of an image is bright. Uh, so when you see more white in an image, the image is overall just brighter. And then low key image is going to be the opposite of that. So you're mostly going to have shadows in the image. Uh, for example, let's say you were to look at a studio photograph, um, photographing a model on a white background, that's going to be a high key image photographing a model on a black background with maybe darker lighting, that's going to be a low-key image. But in landscape photography, it's not quite that simple because a landscape, you know, you, you can have many different conditions. You can have foggy conditions. You can have bright sunlight conditions. Um, and when you take an image into post-production, you have your choice of making the image darker or brighter. And sometimes it can get confusing. Well, what would I like to do with the image? And I think with that, it depends on what you want to say with the image. What do you want to show? Because with a high key image, you'll oftentimes create a little bit more of a blissful scene, a scene that can be very inviting, um, happy. And with a low key image, you'll create a little bit more drama. Um, oftentimes, when you bring the luminance value of a photo down, the saturation of the colors will become a lot brighter. Everything will look a lot more vivid, but a lot more dramatic and intense, maybe even a little scary sometimes. So it kind of depends. Um, we're gonna go through a few images right now. The first person I wanna show is my friend Ryan Dyer. Um, he is an amazing photographer. I've been following him for a long time. This first one was taken in Hawaii and as you can see here, the image overall is, is very dark. Ryan's done a really good job with most of his portfolio creating these low key images where the luminance value is so low, but you still get all this depth and colors and you can still see everything really well. Um, what he's doing here is really bringing your, your eye into the center of the image where he wants you to look towards this lava, uh, towards the kind of dramatic wave action and um, some of the smoke. Um, uh, the colors are, are pretty deep here. You'll notice that they're deep. They look vivid, but they're not oversaturated. None of these colors have been pushed to the limit. They're not like out of gamut, but they do look so much deeper because of how dark the overall luminance is. Um, and he's used this in his portfolio as a really powerful tool and created some incredibly unique images uh, by having this certain style. Now on the opposite spectrum, I wanna show you guys a high key landscape image. And this was taken by my friend Justin Poe, who's another really great photographer. And I was actually with him on this morning shoot. And this image is really high key, uh, really bright. It, it looks very happy, serene, blissful. And I can tell you one thing, <laughs> that morning was uh, not quite as blissful as it looks in this photograph. I was standing pretty close to him when he took this, and this was the coldest I have ever been in my entire life. Wind was just hitting us in the face, just all this ice and snow coming at us. It was just the coldest I've ever been. I was just shaking the whole time. I could barely take out my camera. Now, I, I thought about this for a little while because he chose to create this really nice, uh, blissful and happy image out of the situation. I was thinking in my head, okay, why would he choose to do this? This situation was definitely not, not it, it didn't feel like this when I was up there. So I was thinking, hmm, I wonder why he didn't go darker, more dramatic, more intense with it. And I was thinking about it for a while and I realized, you know, he had been trying to get this shot multiple times and he had gone up there and, and gotten really terrible conditions uh, most of the times that he's gone up. I, I think he said something like he'd been trying to get this shot and done this hike like four or five times. Um, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm getting the number correct, but he put a lot of effort into taking this photo, um, making multiple trips. This hike isn't really easy, especially in the snow. You have to hike up 
early, way before sunrise, uh, it's, it's just not an easy photo to take. And I think the reason why he chose this direction of, of this really blissful and happy image was kind of like a, the light at the end of the tunnel. After all this work trying to get uh, this photo, this one that just kept getting away, this was finally the moment where the light was revealed and he was able to have this kind of moment overcoming um, all of these challenges. And I think that's the reason why he chose this sort of like happy, really uh, blissful look to the image. And I, I think that's really cool. I don't know if that's the reason exactly, but um, that's just what I'm getting from the photograph. And I think that's a really cool way to show an experience to in a way, tell a story by just changing the mood of the image, just telling the story of what it took to get uh, this photograph. And um, yeah, so, you know, this is a high key image, really beautiful, love it, Justin's work's great. So my own photography, when do I choose to take a high key image? When do I choose to take a low key image? It all depends. Um, we'll take a look at one of my photographs. Here's a, a low key image. Now, I, I had the option to go high key with it or low key with it. I could have brought the overall brightness up and created this, this really light um, and happy kind of sunrise scene. This is taken at sunrise in Death Valley. Um, but I chose to just darken the entire image, really bring out those colors. Um, I was dodging and burning all of the different shapes to, to bring out those hills so that there would be a lot of difference in color value between the shadows and the highlights. And um, it created this really interesting mood that, that I wanted to go for. But you know, I, I was sitting there kind of debating in my head, okay, would I like this image to be brighter or do I want it to be darker? And I was experimenting with it, pulling the brightness up and down, seeing, well, okay, you know, what would I like to do here with this? And I mean, it was a pretty windy morning. <laughs> the wind was definitely blasting up, you know, a lot of sand was, was hitting us. So it was a dramatic moment and I think in that, I wanted to show the drama that we were feeling when we were shooting it. Uh, so I think that's the reason I sort of went with this more dramatic and darker look. Here is a bright high key scene. I shot this on top of Mount uh, Timopolis. And I saw these figures walking about this hill that was just covered in fog. And um, again, I had the option. I could have taken the luminance down, made this kind of a dark dramatic image. But I think the overall scene here, what I wanted to show these two people having this moment and these two trees that are uh, kind of mimicking them, uh, the, the, just the repetition of shape and showing this sort of happy moment, this, this enjoyable moment between these two people and between the relationship uh, or the relationship between nature and humans. And I thought that was kind of a cool thing to have. So I ended up going a lot brighter with this image. Um, you know, not quite as deep with the saturation or anything like that. In a way, it's a, almost a little monochrome, a little bit uh, warm and monochrome. But it's just another way to show the image. So I thought it was kind of interesting. Anyways, this is just a quick video. I hope this kind of helps. Um, you know, when you're choosing whether you want to go bright or dark or, you know, middle with the image, just think, what are you trying to say with the image? What story do you want to tell? What, what do you want to share? Um, and why. Hope this was an interesting discussion. Um, I'll probably have more videos like this in the future. It was kind of fun just talking about it. Um, yeah, subscribe for more. Thanks so much. See you guys later.